Okay, okay, okay. Come on down, little boy. Shh. Hi, guys. I'm back. As promised, just trying to get this little boy calmed down. My goodness. He's just having a fit. Trying to get him to suck on this pacifier, which he doesn't seem to want. But, as I said, I was going to have a little special event in my nursery this morning or sometime today. Didn't know if it would be morning. Um, it's my usual time lately. It's about 12 noon now. But, I am here, as you can see with a new little bundle and i was trying not to spill the beans yesterday so i didn't want to say baby or surprise or anything in those type of words because then you would have figured it out easier um so i tried to change up the wording and say special event um but some of you might have already figured it out anyway but yeah, I was trying to not tell everything this time because you know, you guys, if you watch my videos, <laughs> I can't really keep things to myself when it comes to my babies when they're coming. I get so excited. So then I just want to like tell everything and tell everybody. There he goes again, guys. I tell you, when you have a newborn and they just come home, they have to get used to the new surroundings, I guess. So they're just hollering and screaming their little heads off. Okay, calm down. Shh. Try to suck your passy. Come on. Shh. They can't hear me on the video if you're crying. But, um, so I have the baby turned to me. Uh, instead of doing a box opening we have sort of a blanket reveal um i've already taken him out and he's already been born he was born about an hour and a half ago so he is fresh and new um he's been to the hospital and cleared to come home we didn't have to stay so here we are and i wanted to share him with you guys um, and I love his birthday, 7 17, 17 I love those numbers. That sounds like a lucky day. I do feel lucky to have him today. So, I'm going to slowly take off his blanket. See if I cannot show you his face yet. Not yet. I'll show you a hand first. He has one of these little hand knits. There's a hand. I love his hands. I do love his hands and his nails. There's his arm. Looks familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and here's a leg and a cute little foot look at that little foot I love his feet also and his legs um let's see if I can show the bottom of his foot he's trying to show you guys his face already that's the bottom of his little foot and he is just so soft should we turn you around now? Some of you might know who he is already by his feet and his hand. Say hello, everyone. Does anybody know who he is? That's been admiring Claire Taylor dolls for a while you probably know who he is um he is William by Claire Taylor and that's his other little foot 
I love his feet and the way his nails are. And he has some big feet, as you can see. He's a big boy. Um, chubby legs. Chubby little legs. And he has some big hands. I tell you, this little boy, he's a big boy. Um, I love his hands, though. And he's so soft. So this is little Mr. William. And he has been around for quite a while. If you have been watching Clear Taylor Dolls or know of them, this baby has been around for a while. He has like an open sculpted mouth, which I like. It kind of just stays open. See how he can suck on my finger? So it's much easier putting pasties and everything in this mouth. Can he suck his thumb? kind of fits in there but it doesn't stay see that finger kind of goes in there <laughs> but he's so cute um this is a doll that i had seen when i first started in the doll collecting and reborn community almost four years ago so it's been a while. And at the time, I didn't really know anything about Clea Taylor. So I just seen this baby on some channels at that time. Um, and I know In Love with Reborns 2011 had um this kit, this sculpt at one point back then. I know Little X Loves had one. God bless her soul. She had this this baby at one point but I think she might have had the sleeping one because there's two of these babies um it's a twin I guess you could say is the sleeping William and he's the awake William so I had seen this baby then and really liked him back way back then but I didn't know anything about you know Clea Taylor at the time or anything so and I never thought I would actually get to collect him ever and especially not all these years later, but that seems to keep happening to me lately. These Claire Taylor babies just seem to keep um, dropping into my arms, into my lap <laughs> all of a sudden. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, they. this was totally a surprise, guys. I did not find out. Let's see if I could take his hat off without screwing up his hair. I had his hair combed so nice. It's messed up now. Um, yeah, I found out really about him on Friday, July 14th, three days ago. And here he is here today. He came, I won't say what state he came from, but he wasn't, he was about two states over from where I am, so... It didn't take him that long to get here, and he was sent priority, so he got here by today. I didn't think he was going to get here by today because he was mailed Friday afternoon, but he made it in today, this morning, actually around 10.45 or so this morning. I couldn't believe he got here so quickly. I thought he would get here tomorrow, but here he is. I love his hair, the way his hair is rooted. It was wet. When I put the hat on it, it dried it so fast with the hat on it. But I love, love, love his hair and his dark little eyes. And he has like those squinty eyes. They're not like open, open wide. Let's see. See how he has like the squinty eyes. But that's his head and his hair. So that is my little boy, um, my newest little boy. And um, that's why I was spending time with my Kingston yesterday. I don't know if anybody caught on to that also. Um, I usually do that when I have a new baby coming. I will try to spend time with a baby that's already here that is kind of maybe similar so I look at this baby and um, 
since he's a boy and my Kingston is a boy and they're both clear tailored dolls and they're both silicone, it just made me want to just spend that time with Kingston yesterday. So that's why I did that video with Kingston yesterday and Kingston had his day with mommy yesterday. So this is his tummy. And I love his stick out belly button he has. Um, and he is not a full body silicone. He is a partial silicone, which I will show him in the next video where you can actually see him. Um, he has, I believe this is called a body sleeve or something like that. It's uh, like covers him completely. He has his boy bits and his little boom boom back here and it comes like up just up to his waist and then at the back of him is you can see his cloth body but this fits all the way up you know completely covering him all the way down and under him i'll show you guys for those who are not familiar with this um particular sculpt and for those who don't know what baby this is I'll show you what I mean by a body sleeve. I believe that's what it was called at the time. Um, so now his hair wants to mess up because now it's dry. When it was wet, it was staying all nice. But anyway, I took him out of the box again because, like I said, I wanted to do it different. I didn't want to, you know, take him out of the box. I wanted to have him wrapped in a blanket like a newborn baby is supposed to be right William and I've already thought of a name for him lately I've been thinking of my baby's names before they get here um and I notice if it's a special baby lately I have been doing that um so his name is going to be Benjamin I'm gonna still keep William because that's his sculpt name um in honor of his artist Claire Taylor I like to sometimes special babies keep their sculpt name somewhere in their name if I can. So his sculpt name, his middle name will be William, his sculpt name. So he'll be Benjamin William. So welcome Benjamin William, everyone. And um, I probably will call him Benji sometime. I kind of like that as a nickname, Benji for Benjamin. And I love his ears. Look at those ears. I mean, look at those ears. And he has an actual ear canal in his ears. I'll try to show it when I'm closer up with him to the camera. But he actually has a deep ear canal in there. Some of the babies have ear canals, like the little hole in there. And then some of them don't. I don't think Kingston has one, but I think Zoe does. Um, But anyway, guys, that was my special event coming to my nursery today. And I was trying so hard not to say anything yesterday. And I am already loving him. He is so soft. Um, this baby was made back in 2013 by Claire Taylor. He was sold as a kit also. So he was. this one was not painted by Claire Taylor. But I went back and I was looking at the video that Claire did when she had um, created these babies and this one looks so similar to the one that she has on her video I almost thought it was him um and he's painted similar very similar and his nails and everything are done really similar to the one that Claire is holding on her video if you can see her his nails I love his nails um they're not too overly white tipped but nicely done but um What's different with this one, the one that Claire is holding, his body sleeve was complete. Like it went all the way up to his neck from the back of him and the front of him. This one, the front goes all the way to his neck, to his bottom. And then he has a boom boom. But then this part is cloth on this one. I'll show you guys when I do come back and I'm going to um wipe him off and give him like his first little sponge bath because he can't get in the tub because he's a partial silicone so he can't get completely wet so I'm going to do a sponge bath with him 
and change him. So we will be back in a little while, guys. So thanks for watching and everything. <laughs>